and welcome back to my channel. Today, here I am at my home in New York. Christmas is two freaking days away and we are doing Big Loop Problems Holiday Edition. Holiday special, Christmas special. Let's take a moment to just appreciate the fact that we're talking about boobs again. So whether you live at home or you're coming home for the holidays, you know that when this season rolls around and you've got a larger chest, there are some bumps coming down the road at you. God, I just picture big boobs like trolling down a street, like attacking a small village. That's terrifying. Despite how happy and wonderful everything is, there could be some awkward moments that you encounter. So for those who are traveling home from some other place, you know, when you get to the airport, there's something that always just happens and you're, you're, you're victimized every single time. Especially if you have a tinier frame like I do, when you're going through the metal detectors and you put your stuff through the conveyor belt, they always stop you after. Even if you don't beep, they think it's very strange that you're very small, but all of a sudden, when it comes to your chest, it's very large and they think that you're hiding things. And then they pat you down, they're grabbing, they're searching and going underneath and you just, you, you wanna cry, but you know this is what has to be done. It's like that one night stand you have where you just, you just don't look at each other and you walk away. If you're like me and you celebrate Christmas, or if you celebrate other holidays, sometimes you go to like a church or something, you're excited to celebrate the reason that Christmas exists, you're going to praise Jesus and give him a nice birthday wish, everything's fine, everything's grand. And you realize that people just are staring at you. They're staring for not five seconds of awkward eye contact, they are staring with intent. But we all know that Christmas Mass is like, 8 million hours long, so eventually you're gonna have to pee, and when you do that, you get up to the bathroom, you look in the bathroom mirror, and then you realize it. Your boobs are out. Your boobs are out in your church. But you didn't mean it. It's not your fault. You didn't realize that that Christmas dress you've been wearing every single year for the past 16 years of your life does not quite fit you the same as when you first got it. It's unfortunate Christmas and clothing because no matter what you wear, you kind of look like Santa's little ho ho ho. Now you realize the outfit that you wear is very crucial and very important because you don't want the rest of your family creepily staring at you as you just try to enjoy some nice Christmas lasagna. You could wear a Christmas cardigan and look like you've gained 50 pounds and then you have that one relative that asks if you're pregnant. Or you can wear a nice Christmas dress and look like Santa's slutty helper. And every family has it, that one creepy relative that just got way too excited when you hit puberty. Yeah, he's gonna ask you to sing Santa Baby and sit on his lap about five times in that dress. And so many of you guys agree with Alyssa when she said it last year, so I gotta say it again. You're fulfilling Dr. Seuss's wildest dreams, you're eating that roast beast, and all of a sudden, Oh, you've dropped a little bit of food down the cleave. It's okay. You either one, go digging for a bit, make everyone at the table uncomfortable, but this situation will typically last only like 15 seconds. Option number two, you let it sit there. Now this makes everyone uncomfortable pretty much the entire night because they see that there's a piece of ham stuck in your boobs. But, you have a snack for later. It's all how you look at things. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you agreed with any of these awkward moments, let me know in the comments below and give me a thumbs up if you want to see more Thin and Curvy. I hope you guys have a really happy holidays, have a Merry Christmas. Let me know in the comments below what your like favorite part about the holidays is. And I will see you on Christmas morning when I show you what I got for Christmas. Subscribe for Holiday Spirit and to support me in my awkwardness. No, I really appreciate you guys watching. I'm so excited for the new year. I've got a lot of fun stuff planned. And I will see you in the next video. All right. Bye, guys. I bought a Christmas hat and a Michael Kors watch. Oops. And a backpack. That's so true. I really did that. I up, you guys. <laughs>